So I want to, Eddie, we're starting with you because you're our resident uh, Nets expert now. But KD, Kyrie, and Simmons, this is another giant neon question mark on how is this going to look and how is it going to work? Take us through that. What's the best case scenario here? That Ben is the ultimate facilitator. He's he's aggressive on offense and finds these guys' shots. You know, last year they had to create their own shots once James was gone, and they had a ton of difficulty doing that against Boston and shot, you know, some of their worst playoff series of their careers. So even if it's two, three shots a game that Ben can, can create for them, it goes it goes such a long way. Plus on defense, Ben is probably going to be guarding Zion tonight. The toughest matchup on the floor, the most physical one, uh, that's a little, that's less taxing for, for Kevin. That's less taxing for Kyrie and everything just trickles down from there. Best case scenario, they're a title team. They're close to it. Uh, you know, but there's a lot that has to happen to get there and we got to see it happen. Yeah. From, from my perspective, I think we know what we're going to get from Kevin Durant, from Kyrie Irving. It's really the Ben Simmons as X factor. This team will go really as far as Ben Simmons and how great he looked. We saw him against Milwaukee. He was shooting floaters and hook shots. He was passing, doing everything on both ends of the floor, guarding Giannis. Like that's the Ben Simmons that this Nets team needs. Um, it's those moments where maybe he's not looking for a shot as much or really not being a force at all offensively is when this team's offense could struggle. Um, but I'm curious from Evan's perspective, how do you, after everything that's going to put all figure this out because it's, it's got to be a lot that you're, that you're dealing with. Yeah, no, for sure. I, I agree with what Eddie said earlier. I think, uh, you know, the new atmosphere for Ben is going to be great. I think if they get it to click and roll with the talent of Kyrie and, um, you know, KD, I think that, uh, you know, the next to be title contenders. And I have uh, Ben as a dark horse for finals MVP. Ooh, I'm going to write that one down. We'll come back to that at the end of the yeah. season. I like it. Uh, yeah. We're going to take, take a quick break here when we come back. I, well, no, I think that's, that is a dark horse call. No one had that. Um, all of tonight's <laughs> biggest games, we're breaking them down. Plus our guaranteed 100% bank shots. That means you could take it to the bank, make some cash, and you're welcome ahead of time. Uh, I feel like it's like that before every season starts in New York because we're all leaving. They're equal right now. They're in They're in the talk for championship run uh, today, but it might not last forever. We're going to take a look at some of the other big matchups for tonight. We are going to start with the New York Knicks and the Memphis Grizzlies and Jay. Jalen Brunson, all eyes on him. It was a big move for him in the offseason. Evan, starting with you, what are your expectations for what he can do there? I think he's just going to do what he's been doing, be a you know, great, great scorer. I think he's going to set the tone, um, get to the line, shoot corner threes, and uh, you know, kill it from mid-range. Um, I think his personality, poise, and his history of winning, it will definitely be great for the culture. I definitely believe in him as a, a winner. So uh, I think that will definitely help. Yeah, I think he's in a great place to thrive. He's going to have the ball a lot. Um, he's going to have his opportunities to score how he sees fit and best works for him. Got some big pick and roll bigs over there that can help as well. Um, I, I think, you know, look, this isn't the best team in the league. I, I know the Knicks fans were sleeping well last night, but they, they got a good guy in Jalen Brunson, and they're gonna, they're gonna he's going to have a, a really good season out this year, I think. Michelle, you, you talk about Knicks fans, you know, at the start of every season. I'm curious at what point in the year does the conversation go back to the Donovan Mitchell pursuit and how close they came Oof. to getting Donovan Mitchell. Quentin Grimes is a guy that's going to have a lot of eyes on him this year. How does he play tonight and the rest of the year? Because we all know that's a guy that the Knicks considered from everything I'm told as an untouchable. So uh, when at what point in the year will the conversation turn toward Knicks fans saying, we wish we had that guy, Donovan Mitchell, where is he? Well, if I know Knicks fans, uh, they'll be patient. They'll be understanding. Um, <laughs> it'll probably last the entire, they'll be fine. Uh, what about, uh, so we hope that they're better. I mean, for the sake of everyone and, and fans, but are they a playoff team? Can they make it? I know there's so much parody this season, but when you look at the up and down of the conference, do you think they have a shot, Evan, to make even the play in? I think they have a shot to make the play in. The playoffs is kind of, uh, that's kind of aggressive right now, but I like, I like the idea for the play in. So Grizzlies, I like the way you put oh, it. Go ahead. I like the way you put it. That's aggressive. That's aggressive. That's for them. aggressive. That's, <laughs> it's a nice way to say I'm crazy for asking that question. Uh, 